Hello Acorn class. Our story today is Town Mouse, Country Mouse. Let's have a read. Living in the bustling town had exhausted one small mouse. She dreamt of peace and quiet in a little country house. Town Mouse had a cousin who often asked if he could stay and swapping houses with him could be the perfect holiday. She scurried off to write a note and set out her big plan, signing it with please write back as quickly as you can. At the home of Country Mouse, Frog knocked upon the door. It was the invite to the town that Mouse had waited for. He tore the letter open, dancing up and down. I've always wanted to become a mouse about the town. With plans in place, they rushed around collecting all their things. They watered plants, locked their doors and stepped out with a spring. They said a fond farewell to all their closest friends and wondered what adventures could be waiting round the bend. Town Mouse loved the country with its squirrels and its sheep. The quiet of the hillside seemed the perfect place to sleep. But the birds had woken up early and were warbling to the sun and waking at the crack of dawn was not for everyone. Poor Country Mouse rubbed his eyes, he hadn't slept a wink. The noise is never ending, loud beeps and creaks and clinks. As he gazed down on the town, the streets were getting busy. The town folk scuttled by like ants, to watch them made him dizzy. With a rumbling tummy, Town Mouse wondered what to eat and went to forage in the fields to find a country treat. Bird watched her picking berries and warned her with a trill, you can't eat those ones little mouse, they'll make you very ill. Searching in the larder, hungry Country Mouse was pleased to find his favourite mousy meal, a tasty chunk of cheese. As he reached out for the snack, a spider shouted, Stop! Don't touch that cheese! It's in a trap which might go chippy chop! The country air and sunshine were too tempting to ignore, so Town Mouse went out for a stroll to wander and explore. But the weather soon turned frightful and the rain began to fall. Oh, fiddlesticks! squeaked Town Mouse. I don't like this at all! Country Mouse decided it was time to hit the street. I've heard a lot about the town, I wonder who I'll meet. But at each and every corner there was danger in the air, from whizzing wheels to footsteps and a cat upon the stair. The holiday was over, it was time to journey back. They swept the floor and tidied up, then scurried off to pack. The two mice squeaked a cheerio to all the friends they'd met and headed homewards from the trip that neither would forget. Town Mouse clambered to her roof to watch the setting sun and sent a thank you soaring as she thought of all she'd done. The countryside was different and was interesting to see, but now I've been away, I know the town's the place for me. As the moon shone brightly over farmland, fields and trees, Country Mouse spied a paper plane floating on the breeze. He read the note and thought about the time he'd spent away. But home is where my heart is, so home is where I'll stay. I hope you enjoyed that one, Acorn Class. See you again soon.